pull your belly button to the spine. Remember 10 notches on the belt. You're pulling your belly button to notch number three on the belt. Lengthen up, relax your shoulders, shoulders down your back pockets, knees hip width apart with a slight micro bend. So you're just gonna start rolling your shoulders, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Relax your hands. Imagine you've got a pencil shooting out from the side of your shoulders and you're drawing a big circle, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Just mobilizing everything. Hold on to your heart with your right and you start circling your left. Only if you want to, tiptoes. Focus on a point out in front, something that's not moving. Say six, eight foot out in front. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. Back to centre, we swap over, left hand on your heart, circle your right arm. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze the glutes, pull your belly button to the spine, helps with your balance. And back to centre. You're going to interlace your fingers behind your back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, squeeze your palms together, and see if you can rest your hands on your right hip. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. Pull your belly button to the spine and you're tilting your head over to your right. I feel like I'm being pulled by a piece of string from the crown of the head. Only if you want to, you can come up onto your tiptoes. So I'm resting those hands on my hip as close to your right hip as possible, squeezing your shoulder blades together. And back to centre. Lengthen your arms down your back, squeeze your shoulder blades together and your hands come over to your left hip and lengthen your tilt your head over but you feel like you're being pulled by a piece of string squeezing the shoulder blades together tiptoes only if you want to focus on a point out in front really helps with your balance you can really feel my core is switched on there and back to center just roll out your shoulders squeeze your shoulder blades together we're doing a roll down pilates stance if you can remember if you're wobbling all over the place increase your stance so hold on to your hips pull your belly button to the spine micro bend in the knees so you're hinging forward with a nice straight back can you see pull your belly button to the spine i'm not rounding in curly look slightly out in front so it helps keep a nice straight back hinging forward feeling a deep stretch in my hamstrings and my glutes being pulled by a piece of string i cannot hinge anymore and you let the top of your body hang. It's okay to hold onto your thighs for support or you're holding onto your block. Push into your heels, tailbone up to the ceiling. See if you can get that bottom up to the ceiling a little bit more. Naturally, your head comes closer to your toes, push into your heels. Hold on to your bands, not too tight, we're just warming up. And you're lengthening your right arm out to the side, up to the ceiling, push into your heels, push into the left hand, See if your head can follow your hand. If not, just let the top, let your head and neck relax. And back to centre. Left arm out to the side, up to the ceiling. Push it into your right hand. Head follows your hand if you can. If not, just relax your head and neck. I'm still pushing my into my heels as I lengthen back to centre. Hold the band as you roll up. Squeeze the glutes. Pull your belly button to the spine. And let the top of your body hang like a rag doll. I'm completely relaxed here. So slowly roll up, breathing. One vertebrae at a time and into mountain. Pull the band apart. Only if you want to, tiptoe, shoulders down your back pocket. Prayer. Prayer in your hands together. Doesn't matter if you cannot quite touch your hands. Arms in line with your ears, mountain. And prayer. Squeezing your shoulder blade, sorry, lengthening your arms up to the ceiling, shoulders next to your, your arms, length next to your ears. Prayer. And back to centre. You're going to drop the band. We're doing another roll down. This time you're going to pick up the ball. Pilates stance if you can. Pull your belly button to the spine, shoulders down your back pockets, lengthen your arms up to the ceiling. So you're diving over the big electrified beach ball, pull your belly button to the spine. I'm turning myself into a candy cane. I've switched the electric off so you can let the top of your body hang. Come down to the floor, push into your heels, tailbone up to the ceiling. You're going to hold on to the ball as you slowly roll the ball up your legs. 
Squeeze your glutes, pull your belly button to the spine and slowly roll the ball up your body and back to center. You're lengthening your arms up to the ceiling. And can you see I'm pushing into the ball with my palms? So push into the ball with your palms, try and burst your ball, micro bend in the knees, and you sway over to your left, pushing into the ball, lengthening your arms, sticking out the right hip. Squeeze the glutes, protect your lumbar spine, and over to the right. Squeeze your glutes, stick out your hip, and lengthen, I'm pushing into the ball. And back to center, over to your left. So lengthen, push into the ball with your palms, stick out your right hip, nice deep stretch, Holding that stretch with strengthening. One more, push into the ball. Push into the ball, lengthen those arms. Next to your ears, stick out the left hip. Push into the ball and back to centre. Just roll out your shoulders, squeeze your shoulder blades together. You're going to lengthen your arms out in front. Hands in line with your shoulders. And again, you're pushing into the ball. Pushing into the ball with your palms. Hips don't move at all. So we're going from side to side. And your hips don't move at all. So push into the ball, hands in line with your shoulders, and you're twisting all the way over to your left. Hips don't move at all. The headlights out in front, push into the ball, center, over to the right, push into the ball, don't move your hips, back to center. So I'm trying to burst the ball as I come over to the left. Come a little bit more, try to keep your chest in line with the ball. Over to your right, don't move your hips, push into the ball and back to centre. Arms aching, can feel that in my waist. Pushing into the ball, lengthen those arms. Back to centre, one more way to the right. Push into the ball, lengthen. Hips set in stone. And back to centre. Lengthen your arms up to the ceiling. Just relax your arms. Sway over to the left. Pull your belly button to the spine. And sway over to the right. And back to centre. Just drop the ball and we'll come down to the mat. So you should feel a bit more flexed and warmed up now. So we're going to do a spine stretch using the band. So we're working our triceps. So our feet are mat width, they're not mat width apart, they're hip width apart. You're going to take hold of your band. Make sure your band is nice and long. And we're going to work our triceps, the muscles in the back of the arms. So I'm sitting up nice and straight, shoulders down my back pockets, flex those feet as you hinge forward, elbows tucked in tight. So I hinge forward, nice straight back, and I'm feeling length coming from my hips and I'm being pulled by a piece of string. Everyone's going to round and curl, elbows tucked in tight as you lengthen and lift those arms. So lengthen and lift the arms, try to push your palms together. Feeling that in the triceps, elbows tucked in tight, as you roll up one vertebrae at a time. Have that band as slack as tight as you want. Flex those feet. So I'm hinging forward. Can you see I've got straight back? Elbows are tucked in tight to my waist. I'm lengthening from the hip joints. Flex your feet, being pulled by a piece of string. Now I'm going to round and curl, elbows tucked in tight. And I lengthen and lift those arms as high as I can, trying to push my hands, my palms together. Feeling it in the triceps, elbows tucked in tight, and we slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. So re-stretching the muscles in the back of our legs, hinge forward, elongating our spine. Nice straight back. All the lengths coming from my hips, flex the feet, in pull by a piece of string, elbows tucked in tight. And now I'm rounding and curling, lengthen and lift those arms, lengthen the lift, push the palms together. If you're finding it too easy, have your band a little bit tighter. If it's too difficult, slacken your band. And then roll back up, elbows tucked in tight. Back to centre, let go of the band. The feet, the feet are mat width apart. Either keep your hands in between your legs or up to the ceiling level two. Again, we hinge forward, classic spine stretch. Being pulled by a piece of string, round and curl. Everyone's hands come down to the mat. Flex those feet and walk your hands forward. In pull bar piece of string from the crown of the head. Totally relax the muscles. See if you can come an extra millimeter. And slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. So we're going to slowly roll down. 
You can either have assistance to your band, you know how it works. Or level one, two, three. If you're at level two or three, you don't want to look at your elbows. They're in your peripheral vision. So lengthen up, relax the feet and legs. So I'm leaning back, so I'd say one or two inches. Now I'm tucking my, tuck my pelvis, see care of my spine. Dip your chin to your chest, look at your belly button. Tuck the tailbone under. Roll down slowly, relax the feet and legs. Squeeze the glutes and scoop your pelvis. Breathe, it's really important to breathe. Pull that belly button to the spine, squeeze the glutes slowly. Do you want to teach your spine to be flexible? You really want to work your core here. Look at your belly button, helps you round and curl the spine. Some of you might have a really concaved lower back. And so sometimes it's just impossible. You might just fall back. So that's where, when you need a little cheek cushion. If you really find it difficult to roll back one vertebrae at a time, you might have a big uh, uh, um, concave spine here. So it's good to use the cheek cushion. Hug your knees to your chest and rock from side to side, crossing your ankles, pulling your knees apart. Keep on hugging the left leg, lengthen the right leg away, really relax. Totally switch off the muscles. Left knee to left shoulder, relax the feet, breathe. Left knee to right shoulder, feeling a nice deep stretch in my glutes there. Lengthen your leg up to the ceiling, holding onto your hamstring, calf muscle, your ankle, not the back of your knee. Push into your heel, hug the lengthened leg to the chest, as you start circling your ankle one way, then the other, hug that length and leg to the chest. Push into the ankle. Progression. Dip your chin to your chest, look at your belly button, float up your head and shoulders. This is a progression. Bend the left knee, lengthen it away, and hug the right knee to the chest. Really relax the muscles, right knee to right shoulder. Relax. Right knee to left shoulder, nice deep stretch of the glutes, completely relax the muscles. Hold on to your hamstring, calf muscle, your ankle, push into your heel and start circling your ankle one way than the other. Really lengthen that leg and hug that lengthened leg to the chest. Float up your head and shoulders, this is a progression. Try to get your knee on your nose. Still lengthen that leg, pushing into the heel, circling the ankle. Bring your right knee to tabletop to your arms. It's okay to drop the foot. This takes pressure out your lumbar spine. The aim is tabletop. So before we bring our knee across our body, everyone pull your belly button to the spine, melt your rib cage into the mat. So I'm trying to sit my rib cage on the mat and my core is already burning. Keep those shoulders glued to the floor as you bring your knee across your body. And you look in the opposite direction. Lengthen that left leg away. Completely relax the leg, the right leg and foot. Totally relax it and bring your knee back to center. So naturally, I can really feel that in the core. I want to squeeze my glutes. I want to pull my belly button to the spine. We swap over. Remember, it's okay to drop the foot. Pull the belly button to the spine, melt the rib cage into the mat. Lengthen those arms away from at T as you bring your knee across your body. Really relax, this is my tight side. So I'm putting a little bit of pressure on my knee, completely relax the muscles. And bring your knee back to center, switch off the muscles, totally relax that leg. And back into supine. So we're gonna go straight into a bridge. So your feet are close to your seat bones. Remember sore knees, you can walk your feet away a little bit. So you can have weights in your hands for this one if you want to. Now you're gonna push into your heels, knees are hip width apart. You come into your bridge, tuck your tailbone under and lift your hips up to the ceiling. If you scoop your pelvis, lift your hips up to the ceiling, takes pressure away from your lumbar spine. We're doing snow angels today. You lengthen your arms up to the ceiling over your head and you lengthen your arms round to your thighs. Slurp snow angels. Push into your heels, arms over your head, lengthen, slow angel your arms around to the side, back up to the ceiling, push into those heels, lengthen the knees away. I can really feel I'm opening my hip flexors there, 
We're using my glutes, lengthen. Slow angel your arms round to the side, up to the ceiling. We do one more over your head. Slow angel your arms round to the side, up to the ceiling, over your head. Water droplet on your hips, which you're going to roll from the left hip to the right hip. See if you can roll the water droplet past your left hip, past your right hip. Push into the heels, lengthen and lift those arms over your head. Don't just rest your arms, keep them active, lengthen and lifted. As you're rolling the water droplet from left to right hip, mobilizing the pelvis, just releasing the lumbar spine. Now you're gonna roll down one vertebra at a time as you roll the water droplet from left to right. Hit every single vertebrae on the mat as you roll down one vertebra at a time. So you've got to tap in your pelvis, see care of your spine. Rolling that droplet water from left to right hip. When your spine hits the mat, you lengthen your arms back to center. You hug your knees to your chest and you rock from side to side, putting the block back under your head. Or some of you might want to start your first Pilates rollover. Nice spine stretch but you're just using your core as well. So the first exercise we're going to do, we're going to crisscross our legs. We're going to do that with our legs. So hopefully you can see me there. I'll show you here. You're going to crisscross your legs. So you choose the arm position that's good for you. You're going to hug your knees into the chest. You lengthen your legs up to the ceiling. It doesn't matter if you've got a bend in your legs. Your arms are at a soft T, or you choose the arm position that's good for you. You know how it works. Now, everyone's going to turn their feet outwards. So, my feet are said 90 degrees. Can you see what I'm doing there? You're turning your feet outwards. And now you're slowly criss, cross. Turn those feet outwards is really important. Criss, slow and controlled, cross. Criss, cross. It's okay if you've got a bend in your knee, that's okay. So I'm criss, cross. Now you're going to lower your legs to a point that's good for you, and you're going to stay there as you criss, cross, slow and controlled. Doesn't matter if there's a bend in your legs when you criss, cross. I want you to feel nice and comfortable. So some of you might be able to get your feet quite close to the mat, but pull the belly button to the spine, melt your rib cage into the mat. So I'm getting tired now, so I'm gonna lengthen those legs back up to the ceiling, Chris. Cross, keep those feet pointed outwards. So I can feel it in my glutes, I can feel it in my thighs, I can feel it in my core. I've had a little rest, and I'm gonna come down to a point that's good for me. Don't flare out the rib cage. Pull your belly button to the spine, melt the rib cage into the mat. Core is burning, thighs are burning, it's wrapping around into my glutes, especially if you turn those feet outwards. Remember, choose the arm position that's good for you. We're going to do three, two, one, and then ooh, hug your knees to your chest and rock from side to side, crossing your ankles, pulling your knees apart, or some of you might want to do another rollover. You just choose the spinal extent, uh, the, um, the spinal stretch that's good for you. Block back under your head. You're gonna grab your ball and put the ball between your knees. We do this one every week. Your arms are up T. Soles your feet on the floor or up to tabletop. It's okay to drop your feet to take pressure away from the lumbar spine. So squeeze the ball, take the pressure out your feet, pull the belly button to the spine, melt the rib cage into the mat. Squeeze the ball, squeeze, squeeze, as you drop your knees over to the left, look to the right, don't completely drop your knees. Keep your core active, squeeze the ball, lengthen the top leg. Try to relax your foot, squeezing the ball, lengthen, bend your knee, and squeeze the ball back to center. I'm on thin ice, underneath the soles of my feet. Squeezing the ball, lengthen out the top leg, squeezing the ball, bend the knee, still squeezing the ball, keep it squeezed, pull the belly button to your spine, 
back to center one more either side you choose the position that's good for you squeezing the ball to the left extend squeezing relax the foot shoulders glued to the mat bend the knee squeezing the ball back to center squeeze over to the right don't drop your knees on the floor keep your core active squeezing the ball extending the leg bend the knee squeeze squeeze the ball back to center pull the belly button to the spine melt the rib cage into the mat drop the ball hug your knees to your chest and rock from side to side crossing your ankles pulling your knees apart if you can and back into supine. So the next exercise we're going to do is flex and point. So we've done this one before, you're gonna extend your right leg up to the ceiling. Left leg can be bent or lengthened depending on your flexibility. You choose the arm position, that's good for you. So my arms are at a soft tee, I flex my foot down to a point that feels good for you. Don't flare out your rib cage and soft point up. You're going to really lengthen, flex down, pushing into your heel. You might be able to come all the way down to the floor, soft point up. Or some of you might just come down by maybe 45 degrees, soft point up. Left leg can be bent or extended depending on your flexibility. Whether you bent your leg or you have an extended leg, take the pressure out the foot or take the pressure out the extended leg. Pull the belly button to the spine, melt the rib cage into the mat. Now you choose the arm position that's good for you. Stick the whole rib cage onto the mat, pulling your belly button to the spine. Keep that leg lengthened. So soft point, lengthen through the hip joint. Flex, pushing into my heel, but lengthening through the hip joint. Cause burning. We're going to do one more, then we're going to swap over. Soft point up, pull that belly button to the spine, hug your knees to your chest and rock from side to side. Swap over, left leg, right leg, bent or extended, depending on your flexibility. But take the pressure out the extended leg or the bent knee, the foot. Flex down, push into the heel, lengthen through the hip joint. So you might come down by just a few inches, you might come to here and flex back up, or you might be able to lengthen closer to the floor. Whatever happens, I'm lengthening through my hip joint, pulling my belly button to the spine. Flex down, soft point up. Lengthen through that hip joint. Choose the arm position that's good for you. Stick that rib cage onto the mat. My core is burning. Soft point up, lengthen through the hip, hip joint. Flex down, lengthen through the hip joint. Core is burning, we're gonna do one more. Flex down. Soft point up. Then hug your knees to your chest and rock from side to side, pulling your knees apart, crossing your ankles if you can, or maybe your Joseph Pilates rollover. Oh no, my arms should be down here. Hugging your knees to your chest, rocking from side to side. Full body stretch, lengthen your toes and fingers away from each other, melt your rib cage into the mat, pull your belly button to the spine. So we're gonna roll over to the side and you choose if you want maybe weights around your ankles, weights on your wrists, so we're going to do soft point up, flex down. I'm a ruler, one straight ruler. Ankles, hips, shoulders, shoulders are in alignment. You choose to put your hand in front or on your hip. Now, if you find you're wobbling all over the place, you can lengthen your bottom leg slightly out in front. You might want to bend your knee if you get a little bit of a sore hip. Rest of my body, I'm a ruler. So we're going to slightly turn the foot outwards. Can you see? And your soft point up and flex down. I've turned my foot outwards. I'm gonna be a nice ruler. Soft point up, flex down. Lengthening through the hip joint, hips are stacked. 
pelvis is vertical. So I'm lengthening through my hip joints, soft point up. Can you see I've turned my foot outwards? It's not like that. I've turned my foot outwards, flex down, soft point up, lengthen through the hip joint, flex down, soft point up, flex down, soft point up, glutes are burning, turn that foot outwards. So I'm, I'm rotating from the hip joint outwards, but my hips are stacked, my pelvis is vertical. Soft point up as high as you can go, lengthen through the hip, push into the heel, flex down. We'll just do a few more, soft point up, flex down, one more, soft point up, flex down, and then just pass it out. So we're back into position, just relax your foot and you lengthen and lift, lengthen and lift, really lengthen the top hip, longer than the bottom, come as high as you can, and you start circling, relax the foot, circle around, say, a side plate, glutes are on fire, lengthen, pull your belly button to the spine, all the hinging comes from the hip, circle. Now you rest whenever you like, come in the opposite direction. Round the saucer, relax the foot, all hinging from the hip. Lengthen and that, lift that leg as high as it can go. Circle around the saucer and in the opposite direction. Rest whenever you like and come back into position. Pull the belly button to the spine, lengthen. I feel like I'm being pulled by a piece of string from the crown of the head, opposite direction. Five, four, three, two, one, and lengthen back to center and just pat it out. Oh, glutes are on fire. Right, so we're gonna go into our open book. I've forgotten my weight, let me just get a weight. Open book, you can choose to incorporate the leg. We have worked the glutes hard, so you choose if you want to incorporate the leg. You have your band or your weight or bend or nothing at all. So bend the knees in front. Your knees aren't back here, they're in front. You lengthen the lift, your top leg diagonally across. Arms are in front. You lengthen your top arm longer than your bottom. Head follows your hand. Lengthen your arms away from each other. And you swing your leg in front at hip height. Lengthen, lengthen, close your arm as you swing your leg behind at hip height. Rest, come a little bit deeper. Lengthen that top arm, long than the bottom. You keep on lengthening it. Head follows your hand, open up. Crease your range of motion of your leg. So have a rest, see if you can come slightly deeper. Sweep the leg behind you at hip height. Close your arm. Hips are stacked all the time. Pelvis is always vertical. I'm gonna have a little rest and see if I can come deeper with my leg. And this is the final one. Let's see if we can hold it for four, three, two, lengthen, one, and bend your knee, and just pat it out. So we're gonna go straight into bridge. And our bridge today, you're gonna to remove your block, is classic tabletop. Remember, if you're finding it all too easy, you can always put that resistance band over your hips and push into your hands if you find it all too easy and you can have a loop band around your thighs feet close to your seat bones so we're doing classic i'll just show you tabletop tabletop now if you find it too difficult you can do four steps or if you find it too easy you're going to extend your leg so you we've done this many times before so you're going to choose the level that's good for you so feet close to your seat bones, push into your heels, lengthen your knees away, hip width apart. Push into your palms, right knee tabletop. Don't drop your bottom or rock your hips, left knee tabletop. Some of you will extend your leg. You choose the level that's good for you. Lengthen your arms over your head, pulling the band apart if you're using a resistance band. Tuck the tailbone under, hips up to the ceiling. Tabletop. Do four steps if you're finding it too difficult. Tabletop. 
Tuck in your pelvis, C curve for your spine. Roll down one vertebrae at a time. Keep those arms lengthened and lifted over your head. When the spine hits the mat, you lengthen your arms back to center. Start that bridge again. Some of you will do crunch, floating up your head and shoulders. Looking at your belly button, hold on to your hamstrings or lengthen your arms up out to the side. Stick out your chest, nice straight back. Hold on to your hamstrings as you lengthen your, arm, your legs up to the ceiling. Some of you might want to try and lengthen your arms up to the ceiling. Teaser. Boat, keep that chest stuck out so you've got a nice straight back. And you slowly come down, balancing a bowl of soup or a tray of drinks on your shins, horizontal alignment. One more. Feet close to your seat bones, push into your heels, push into your palms. Lengthen your knees away, tuck the tailbone under, hips up to the ceiling. Right leg tabletop, or maybe you might want to extend that leg. If it's too difficult, do your full steps. Maintain alignment of your hips, don't drop your bottom or rock your hips. Lengthen your arms over your head, remember do your full steps if it's too difficult here. Tabletop or maybe leg extension, you choose the level that's good for you. And tuck in your pelvis, C curve your spine. Keep those arms active, lengthen and lift it over your head as you roll down one vertebrae at a time from top to bottom. Lengthen your arms back to center, start that bridge again or float up your head and shoulders, crunch. Eight. Hold on to your hamstrings for support. If you struggle to lengthen your arms out to the side or teaser, hold on to your hamstrings or lengthen your arms up to the ceiling. Balancing a tray of drinks on my chins as I slowly roll down one vertebra at a time, hugging your knees to your chest and rocking from side to side. Full body stretch, lengthen your toes and fingers away from each other. Melt your rib cage into the mat, pull your belly button to the spine. And slowly, we're going to roll to the other side. Slowly, slowly. Do it really slowly and breathe. So we're going to go straight, straight into flex. Soft point up and flex down. So I'm a ruler, one straight line, but if you're wobbling all over the place, bring your bottom leg slightly out in front. We can choose to have your hand in front. So you're going to lengthen and lift your leg. Can you see I've turned my foot outwards, but turn your foot outwards from the hip joint. Pelvis stays vertical, hips stay stuck. So we soft point up and flex down, lengthen through the hip joint, soft point up. Keep those hips, that foot turned outwards, soft point down, soft point, soft point up, flex down, sorry, I said soft point down, soft point up, lengthening through the hip joint, pull your belly button to the spine, keep that foot turned outwards, soft point up. I feel like I'm being pulled by a piece of string from the crown of the head, keeps my shoulders down my back pockets. Lengthening through the hip joints, glutes on fire, thighs on fire, I can feel that in my core as well. Hips stay stacked, pelvis stays vertical, always lengthening. Let's do one more, then we're going to change it up. Complete stability from your pelvis upwards, no movement goes on here. Pass out. Still one straight line, if you're wobbling all over the place, bring your bottom leg slightly out in front. So I'm gonna lengthen and lift, relax that foot, lengthen and lift. We're coming, oh, I'm gonna to have to hold onto my hand in front. Around the side plate, relax the foot, lengthen and lift that leg as high as it can go. Hinge from the hip only, and in the opposite direction. Round the side plate, rest whenever you like, and then lengthen and lift, come back into position. The only thing that's moving is my leg and my hip joint. From my pelvis upwards, opposite direction. Got total stability. Being pulled by a piece of string from the crown of the head, 
Oh, glutes on fire. Let's just do a few more. Rest and then come back into position. Opposite direction. Five, four, three, two, one. And lengthen back to centre and just pat it out. So we go straight into open book. You don't have to incorporate your top leg. We work the glutes hard. Or you can do one and then rest your leg on open book number two and three. So feet are in, so your arms are in front. Knees are 90-90. Lengthen and lift the leg. Top, lengthen and lift the leg at hip height. Always lying on the edge of your block. Lengthen your top arm, longer than your bottom. Head follows your hand. Lengthen those arms away at T as you increase the range of motion of your leg. Sweep the leg behind you at hip height and close your arm. Keep that head stuck on the block. My head just came off the block there. Don't let my head come off the block. Open up your arm. I'm going to have a little rest, see if I can increase the range of motion of my leg. Sweep my leg behind, lengthen my arm in front. Remember, lengthen, lengthen. <sighs> Lovely deep stretch. But with the equipment, or without the equipment, you're still really working those deep core muscles. Sweep the leg behind. <sighs> You're going to hold it for three, two, one, and then bend the knee and pat it out. So we're going to just go straight into our prone. And our prone exercise today, we're going to do the diet, and we're going to do the slute and lengthen our arms down to our thighs. So if you struggle, if you struggle in prone, you're going to do four point kneeling, you're going to do exactly the same. You lengthen the lift, and you lengthen your arm all the way down to your thigh, lengthen your arm back to centre. You can do it with or without a band in your hands. See so the rest of us with or without a band in your hand. Your feet are mat width apart. You can always put a resistance band around your ankles if you want to. So my hands are at diamond. I'm resting my forehead on my diamond hands. My feet are mat width apart with or without a band. First of all, you're going to roll the marble forward with your nose and you lengthen and lift your head and sternum without pushing into your hands. Squeeze your glutes, pull your belly button to the spine and you lengthen and lift your right leg and lengthen back to centre. You lengthen and lift head and sternum, don't push into your hands and you lengthen and lift your left leg and lengthen back to centre. Now, if that feels good for you, stay at that level or come with me. Left hand to your forehead. Left hand salute as you lengthen, lift right leg. You're going to lengthen your left arm in front. Lengthen that arm all the way down to your left thigh and look down at your left thigh. Lengthen your arm all the way back to centre. Left salute and back down to the mat. Right salute. Lengthen, lift head and sternum. Right hand stuck to the forehead. Lengthen and lift left leg. Lengthen the right arm in front. Lengthen the arm all the way down to the right thigh. Look down at your right thigh. I'm still lengthening, lifting my left leg. Lengthen the arm all the way back to centre. And salute. Left salute. Lengthen and lift head and sternum. Left hand to left to forehead. Lengthen and lift right leg. Lengthen the arm in front. Lengthen it all the way down to the left thigh. Look down at your left thigh. Lengthen your arm back to centre. Salute back down to the mat. So you choose the level that's good for you. You don't have to use the band. Keep that left, that leg lengthened and lifted as you lengthen your arm all the way down to the opposite thigh. I'm having a little rest, so I'm just lengthening and lifting head and sternum, and one leg at a time. Now, if you're going to lengthen and lift head and sternum on one leg at a time, 
Then push it to your hands, use your glutes and your upper back to do the work. We're going to do one more either side. Left salute. Lengthen the arm in front. Lengthen it all the way down to your thigh. Lengthen my arm in front and salute. One more. Right salute, arm in front. All the way down to my thigh. I'm looking down at my thigh, so I'm flexing to the side. Salute and back down to the mat. Everyone cap to E and rock your hips from side to side. Just release in tension you're holding the lumbar spine. So we're going to do a lizard, then cobra. So you're going to lengthen the lift, head and sternum. Squeeze the glutes, pull your belly button to the spine, shoulders down your back pocket. You push into your left hand. Fully extend the left arm. Look over the left shoulder, look at your left foot. Right elbow glue to the mat as you bend your right knee. And lengthen back to centre. We do the other side. So squeeze the glute, pull your belly button to the spine. Always pushing that pubic bone into the mat. Roll the marble forward with your nose. Keep on looking down at the mat. Now I feel like I want to put my shoulders and my back pockets, chest out to the sun. Push into my right hand. Fully extend right arm if you can. Look over right shoulder. Left elbow glue to the mat as you bend your left knee. Look at that right foot, maybe your right glute. And lengthen back to centre. Either have your hands underneath your shoulders, elbows tucked in tight, or stay at capital E as you lengthen and lift your head and shoulder, head and sternum. Fully extend your arms if you can. Squeeze the glutes, pull your belly button to the spine. If your hands are underneath your shoulders, get a deeper spinal extension, but keep your pelvis glued to the mat. And lengthen, lengthen back to centre. Everyone puts their hands underneath their shoulders and come into cat and cow. And those who struggle in four point kneeling, you're going to stay in prone and you're going to do exactly the same as us. Arms lengthened out in front. So you're going to lengthen lift, opposite arm and leg. Bring your leg and arm out by the same 20, 30 degrees. Back to centre, back down to the mat. Lengthen and lift, head and sternum, opposite leg and arm. You don't have to incorporate your arm if it's too uncomfortable. So you lengthen the lift, head and sternum, opposite leg and arm, out by 20 or 30 degrees, back to centre. See if you can hold the position for two seconds. Rest of us, cow sticking out your bottom, push your chest through your arms as you gently look up to the ceiling. Spinal extension, round and curl, push into your palms, look at your belly button, Squeeze the glutes. Some of you are going to eat the rest on the top of your feet or tuck your tailbone, tuck your toes under, what's ever more comfortable. You're coming into turbo cat. Knees no more than one centimetre off the mat. Give it a little go. Stay in turbo cat for some of you if you want to work nice and hard. And the rest of us, cow, sticking out your bottom, pushing your chest through your arms. One more cat. Push into the palms, squeeze your glutes, piece of string pulls you from the belly button to the spine, or you choose turbo cap for a few seconds. A little bit more upper body work and core work there. And back to four point kneeling. So four point kneeling, with or without a band. Make sure you're stacked, pull your belly button to the spine. You don't have to incorporate your arm or you can incorporate a band if you want to work a little bit harder. Now you're going to lengthen your left leg to hip height, lengthen your right arm to shoulder height, if you can. You're going to bring your arm out to 40, 30 to 45 degrees and leg out to 30 to 45 degrees. Hold for a couple of seconds, two to three seconds, back to centre, hold for three, two, one, and back to centre. So you're going to lengthen your right leg, left arm, the aim is shoulder height, hip height, lengthen. Three, two, one. 30 to 40 degrees, three, two, one. Back to centre, lengthen, three, two, one, and back to centre. Make sure you're stacked, bowl of soup on your pelvis, on your lumbar spine. Two, 
One, 30 to 40 degrees, still lengthening, shoulder height, hip height. Lengthen, and back to center. Now, if this feels good for you, stay at this level, pull the belly button to the spine, lengthen. Or you can come out, three, two, one, back to lengthening, three, two, one, back to 45, 30 to 40 degrees, back to lengthening. So you can do an extra two or three either side. So you might just want to lengthen out to 30 to 40 degrees. Sorry, 20 to 30. No, what did I say? 30 to 40, didn't I? Forgotten now. Or you can do lengthen. Keep on lengthening out to between 20 and 40, say. Back to center, either come back down to the mat, you might want to come out one more time. Back to center. Let's just do one more either side, lengthen. Out to the side. Back to center, always holding for two to three seconds. One more. Then everyone's going to come into a child's pose. Knees, mat width part, glue big toes together if you can. If that's too difficult, just come down any way you can. Sitting on your heels, lengthening your arms and front, pushing into your chest. Rest your forehead on the mat if you can. Rocking your forehead from side to side, just massaging out your forehead. You're going to walk your hands over to 10 o'clock. Right hand sits on left. I'm still sitting on my heels, pushing my chest into the mat, but really walking my right hand away, feeling a nice deep stretch down the right side. Walk back to 12. Walk over to two, left hand sits on right. Really walk that left hand away as you sit on your heels. And back to 12. See care of your spine, squeeze your glutes, come into one more. Cat stretch, pushing into your palms pulling your belly button to the spine and back to four point kneeling. So we're going to do a thread the needle with or without the band. So make sure you're stacked with or without the band. You lengthen your right arm out to the side, up to the ceiling, hips are stacked over your knees, push into the left hand. Look up to the ceiling if you can, if you can, or just rest your head and Shoulders, lengthen the arm back to center. Right arm threads underneath left, push into your left hand and look up to the ceiling. Before you unthread, some of you might want to lengthen your left leg out to the side as you lengthen out to the side, up to the ceiling. And lengthen, lengthen back to center. Make sure you stack left arm out to the side, up to the ceiling, pushing into your right hand. Head follows your hand up to the ceiling. If not, just let your head hang. Don't want tension in the neck. And lengthen, lengthen that left arm, lengthen, fill into the waist and the shoulders. Left threads underneath right. Look under your right armpit, push into the right hand. Deep stretch across the shoulders. Before you unthread, some of you might want to lengthen your right leg out to the side. As you thread out to the side, up to the ceiling. And lengthen, 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 back to center. So we're all going to come to seated. And we're going to very slowly roll back. With or without the band, relax the feet and legs, lengthen your arms in front. So you lean back by an inch, take, scoop your pelvis, pull your belly button to the spine. Some of you will be holding on to your band. Breathe. Actually, I'm gonna come in level two. Breathe, dip your chin to your chest, look at your belly button, tuck the tailbone under, relax the legs and feet. Roll down slowly. Then hug your knees to your chest 
and rock from side to side. We're just going to do one more exercise with or without the band, just, just for a couple of minutes, then we'll just stretch it out. So your arms are at T, you're dropping your left knee and your right knee to the side. Or you can do this at tabletop. So you choose the level that's good for you. I've got hardly any pressure under the soles of my feet, pull your belly button into the spine. Hardly any pressure under the soles of the feet, unless you're at tabletop. You drop your left knee to the side, holding onto a bowl of soup on your pelvis and back to center. Drop your right knee to the side. Hold for two, one, and back to center. I've got hardly any pressure under the soles of my feet. Drop your left knee to the side. Now look at my thigh. I'm not moving it as I extend my leg, lengthen, pull the belly button to the spine. Hold for a couple of seconds. Bend the knee, look at my thigh. I'm not moving it. And my knee comes back to center. Drop your right knee to the side. Don't disturb the bowl of soup on your pelvis. Thigh doesn't move one little bit as I lengthen out my leg. Bend the knee, don't move your thigh at all. Foot comes down to the floor, back to center. This can be done at tabletop. So you drop your right knee out, left out to the side. Bowl of soup on my pelvis. Look at my thigh, it's not moving. I'm extending, lengthen, hold for a couple of seconds. Choose the arm position that's good for you. Right knee out to the side. Extend my leg, my thigh doesn't move at all. Really feeling that in the core. Bend the knee, back to center. One more either side, drop my knee. I've got a bowl of soup on my pelvis, so you've got to maintain horizontal alignment of your pelvis. Back to center. One more, drop your right knee to the side, extend, lengthen, bend, and back to centre. Hug your knees to your chest and rock from side to side, crossing your ankles, pulling your knees apart if you can. Now you're going to grab your band, Put the band underneath the arch of your right foot, left leg can be bent or lengthened, depending on your flexibility. Push into the heel, hug the lengthened leg to the chest, really relax. T your left, hold the band in your right and lengthen and lift your right leg out to the side. So I'm squeezing my glutes, pulling my belly button to the spine. Don't tug on the band too much, squeeze those glutes. Pull the belly button to the spine and lengthen. Nice in the thigh stretch, but I'm using my core. Lengthen back to center. Band in the left, T the right, to look in the opposite direction. Again, don't put too much tension on the band. You want your core to do the work. And squeeze the glutes and lengthen back to center. And we swap over. Right leg can be bent or lengthened, depending on your flexibility. Push into the heel, hug the length and leg to the chest, really relax the muscles. T the right, lengthen and lift the left leg out to the side. Squeeze the glutes, pull your belly button to the spine. Lengthen my leg back to center, and on the right, T the left. Foot comes across your body. Shoulders stay glued to the mat. And lengthen back to center. Drop the band. Left ankle and right thigh. Hug the right knee to the chest. Really relax the right foot. Really feel a deep stretch in the left glute. Either stay here or come with me. Don't drop that foot, that right foot as you tee your arms. Now I'm using my core to hug my knees to my chest. Flex the foot, I forgot to say, left foot, flex the toes, flex the foot. It takes pressure away from the knee and deepens the stretch in the glutes. I try to remember that every week. If I forget, flex your foot, flex your toes. Right foot comes down. Swap over, right ankle, left thigh. Hug your left knee to your chest, relax the left foot. Feeling a nice deep stretch, flex that foot. Flex up the toes of the right foot. Either stay here or come with me to your arms.
flex that right foot, feeling a deep stretch in the right glutes. And I'm really working my core. Don't want to drop your foot. Both feet come down to the mat. Remove your block. Fall underneath your head. And we have a pencil on our nose. And we're going to start drawing a spiral on the ceiling as you press into the ball. Press into the ball, draw a spiral on the ceiling with a pencil that shoots out from your nose, gently pushing into the ball. Breathing. When the spiral cannot get any bigger, you come in the opposite direction and the spiral gets smaller. Push into the ball until you come back to center. Just really relax as you roll your head from left to right. Completely relax and let the ball deepen the stretch in the muscles in your neck. and back to center. Just focus on your breath. And when you're ready, you gently roll to the side and get yourself to seated. Sitting on your block if you can, and we do a version of the mermaid. So you lengthen up. Left arm up to the ceiling, next to your ear, glide out your right, all the weights in your seat bones. Don't let the weight come off your seat bones. Then pull by a piece of string, lengthen that arm, feeling stretch in my waist. Lengthen the arm diagonally across as you look under your right armpit. All the weights in your seat bones, push into your bottom, back to your waist, lengthen that arm over your ear, being pulled by a piece of string. Now, let your core do the work as you pull your belly button to the spine and lengthen back to center. Try not to push yourself back to center. Use your core to bring yourself back to center. Left arm up to the right arm, sorry, up and over. Glide out that hand, push into your seat bones. Feel like I'm being pulled by a piece of string. Lengthen that arm. Lengthen the arm directly across as you look under your left arm hit. Push into the seat bone, especially the right seat bone. Back to your waist, being pulled by a piece of string. So I'm trying not to push into that hand too much. Pulling my belly button spine, I'm using my core there as I lengthen back to center. So you come to four point kneeling, tuck your toes under, Pilates stance if you can, glue those heels together. I'm pushing into my heels, tailbone up to the ceiling, Remember to breathe as you roll up, relax the top of your body. Squeeze your glutes, roll up one vertebra at a time. Breathing and back to center. Lengthen your arms out, palms up to the ceiling, hold on to your shoulders. You're doing shoulder rolls, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Tiptoes, soles your feet. You don't have to come onto your tiptoes. We'll just do one more. And back to center. 